Hi. Thank you so much for choosing to work with me. So, as you requested, you wanted to know how mail is autoresponders work. So, I'll walk you through uh, gently, step by step. And probably if you will be stuck somewhere, uh, you will be able to ask any question. So, I believe your mail is... Um, I presume you already have mail is so you didn't choose to work with me no problem <laughs> so i presume you have a mail list that looks like that so before you run any campaign you need three things you need the the message that you want to send normal text or a template number two you need a sender and number three a sender is the same as uh, the, the SMTP. And number three, definitely, you need uh, uh, the mail list. So, in terms of uh, the sender, I presume you already have your delivery server set. And you already have your message ready. And then you also need a list that is the message that you're going to need. The people whom you're sending out the emails to. So, having said that you come here to campaigns you're not going to do regular campaigns you're going to do autoresponders so you click on autoresponders and then what you want to do is you want to uh, create new you want to give it a name it can be any name let me just call it test And then you already have your list uploaded so you're going to choose from list so in this case i can choose any any list for the purposes of demonstration so your list will appear here you choose the list that you want to work on uh, these other areas are not very important so um, the next thing you want to do is you want to say save and next all right here you want to put uh, your subject and then the from name and then the email address uh, that um, the from email address and then you need to put the reply email if there are any replies that you're expecting where will they go so having said that you can do a few you can collect a few data here whereby you can uh, track on uh, the opens or the url you can decide to embed an image or not yes you can decide to do a preheader or not a preheader is um something of this kind let me show you this one for instance if we pick yearly network here how will you how will you start the new year this is a preheader and preheader may not necessarily be the first word of your of your email as you can see it is not in the first uh, sentence of my email so Preheader just gives you a hint of what that email is about. So you can choose to have a preheader or not. Then you want to show more options. So when you come to show more options, um, the, the core element that you need to do here is you need to ensure that uh, you tick. It depends with how your mail list settings are, but you will find this one here. Uh, campaign delivery servers find it here you tick and then you there are also other options here whereby you can uh, uh, decide on what you want to do if uh, a person for instance actions against the subscribers upon opening once they open what do you want uh, these people to happen I would suggest you can decide to move them to a different list. 
can decide to move them to a different list so that they can receive the next um, uh, the next automation in line so action against uh, subscribers upon uh, campaign being sent once the campaign has been sent what do you want to happen i presume you don't want to do anything here your core focus will be on the more on the opens so that is pretty much is about this section these others are not very applicable so you do not need them then after you've done that you want to save and next so here is where you will find your you can put in your message here if you're running a cold email i highly recommend you do a normal text instead of um, the designed templates the design templates usually have a low open rates so for instance hi there and then you want to put in your message there and also depending on your settings you need uh, one of the compulsory tags is uh, unsubscribe link not unsubscribe url but it depends with the settings i don't know how your mail with settings are so for instance if i say save and next it will not accept because i have not the following tags are required but are not there so i need to put the unsubscribe link so just copy it from the available tags next thing is uh, save the next right so this is where i would say the the, the automation begins um, or the autoresponder uh, begins because uh, you're given three options once uh when do you want when do you want these people to receive uh, this email so assume you already have uh, a list that you have already created and then every time you add contact to that list you want them to receive an email so you want to say after people subscribe so it could be people are subscribing from your website or you are manually adding contacts to that specific list that you have created so this is the list that you have already pre-selected in uh, the setup here so ensure that you don't forget that and then um, in terms of the time value here do you want this autoresponder to go immediately or after some time maybe if it's not immediately you say you want uh, after some minutes uh, after some minutes and um, how many minutes say 15 minutes and the system will be able to pick that from there so also you're being asked include current uh, subscribers so we have pre-existing pre-existing contacts so I suggest you leave it now bearing in mind maybe there is a specific list you'll keep on uh, pre-updating so you leave it now there and then uh, save and activate when you click save and activate this will automatically start running All right the other option when it comes to autoresponder is um, after campaign has opened so in your lists you have already run your first uh, you have already run your first email and then uh, you're saying i want this autoresponder to be activated when people open the campaign so you say after campaign open and then you're given out send send when opening this campaign there are no options at this 
at this uh, this uh, trigger here so if you want the first batch that you had previously sent to receive another email will say send after people open and then um, the other option is uh, after campaign is sent well after campaign is sent there, there's nothing much you want to do after the campaign is sent so these are the two options that you majorly you will be using that after you have added people to a specific list they receive an email or in that list if they open you already have created another autoresponder and then they receive an email uh, I know you could be having questions so and in a nutshell that is how email use autoresponder works so I'll share this video with you and then uh, if you will be having any questions we can run through uh, together by a live call uh, to up to your level of satisfaction once again thank you so much for giving me this order and for your time and in case you'll be having any issues with your mail with or you would want me to manage your campaign entirely uh, so that you don't have to worry about um, how your campaign is doing the health status of your sender uh, or you don't have the time to do that i can do that for you let me know when you can have a live call in case you have any questions or you need any clarification thank you so much and happy new year